Hey guys, my name is Ismaus and welcome to Top Channel 101. So I've been making this, uh, I was experimenting with uh, how to make this scene here from Spider-Man Thing 3. Uh, this Sunman guy here. Let me just move forward. Show you, I'm sure most of you have watched this. Yeah, so I was trying to see how I can get, how I can do this in, um, in Blender. And uh, this is what I managed to do. Let me just play for you the viewport render. Uh, because this is a bit heavy for my PC. So this is what I have. You can see there are some glitches going on, but uh, I think I like them even more. It makes the scene look, it, it makes it seem like there is some stuff going on that is causing this to happen. So yeah, maybe some explosion inside there. It makes the scene look more cool. That's why I wanted to show this off. It's a glitch. It's not something I added in myself, but uh, yeah, it, Blender was glitching for some reason, but uh, it ended up making the, the scene look even mo much more cooler. Let me just show you the effects here. Uh, by the way, if you want to make to render your own viewport, just go under View, Render Viewport Animation. It will save it in the output folder. That makes it easy for you to know the timing or, or speed of, of animation because if you're playing this in your viewport, sometimes you have a lot, a lot of stuff going on that uh, you're not getting the right frame rate so you might want to just render a preview so that uh, and that play back the preview you just go again under view um view actually you don't you don't view it from here you just go under you render the viewport from here but uh, preview the re the render under render view animation yeah so don't forget that yeah, as i was saying i, I like those yeah artifacts or oh, uh, glitches uh, I think you can replicate them using a, f a force a force field uh, you just increase it for it is its strength for a few short frames and then uh, reduce it significantly to get those kind of uh, small explosions uh, that are in the fluid you also notice that uh, my fluid is not like real it's not water it doesn't behave like water uh, that's because uh, we're trying to create sand uh, which doesn't behave uh, like water so I increase its vic viscosity. I don't know if, you qu if I re reduce it or I increase it, but uh, I change its viscosity, which you can find under uh, other domain settings. You can see under, uh, you have to turn on diffusion and uh, play with these settings. Uh, if you move your cursor over this, you can see that uh, it gives you the settings of viscosity surface t and surface tension. So I played with that uh, to, you can see the settings I used here, uh, to get that kind of sand like uh, fluid. It requires some experimenting, yeah, but I uh, just really wanted to show off how this is coming along. So unfortunately, if it doesn't render, I don't even think Cycles does, doesn't render these particles, uh, these spherical particles. Uh, you f to for you to render that, you need a geometry object, or a geometry mesh uh, like this, and uh, then you select the domain when you create a domain, it also creates a particle system for you, uh, for these particles. Uh, so you just go into those particles. Uh, you will find this collapsed. You just have to expand it and change the render as from halo to object. Now, if I did that, did that on this computer, it would probably explode uh, because this is a lot of particles and uh, it would just, it, in my computer can't handle that kind of particle as particles. So yeah oh kind of yeah anyway so if you want to render those particles so you just do that and uh, then you'll be able to preview those particles i actually did that in a previous preview let me see if i can change my output folder to my previous render and see if i can get that uh, to show render view yeah, it does, it does. So you can see this is uh, what I did in the previous attempt and you can see there were no glitches or anything. And uh, the, this was behaving more like uh, fluid or water, just that uh, the, I turned at uh, the, uh, the speed of the fluid uh, a bit down. So it, it doesn't really, it's not as fast as water, but uh, you can see. Yeah, and uh, I switched out these particles because I wanted to render them, uh, switch them out for this uh, cube here. And that's why you can see that uh, we have uh, that. 
Anyway, so let's just get this back to the to this preview because that is way more awesome. Preview this one more time. You can see. Yeah, so, and uh, I didn't use a lot of resolution here for the particles. So, and I, uh, another reason uh, to make sure that my PC doesn't explode is uh, to keep, is by keeping uh, the domain resolution or subdivisions a bit lower. So I use 150. Again, I also made the time scale a bit lower. Uh, instead of using one, I used 0.7. Uh, that gave me this uh, kind of sand looking uh, simulation and uh, i think because of my uh, surface tension the surface tension i added there it's not much but i think it's uh it's what's keeping uh, some of the particles together uh so the way you make the character emit those particles or make the particles form around uh, the character let me just first hide my domain and see it's very very simple and basic you just uh, give the character a fluid system type of flow. Uh, the flow type should be flu should be liquid inflow, and then flow flow source is just uh, fluids only have one flow source, and uh, that is mesh. Uh, make sure you turn on planner. Uh, if you don't turn on planner, uh, I've found that uh, the particles will only emit from one point instead of emitting from the entire character. And then you can set up the initial velocities you want and uh, everything else I think I've explained uh, you can see we only have two objects we have the fluid emitter and the domain itself and uh, I haven't used any f yeah that's it for the settings I used here uh, we're not going to bake this as a mesh because we only want uh, the particles uh, if you try rendering this you will notice you will just see the the cube are uh, the domain cube uh, instead of the particles but because the they're enclosed within this and uh, we're not rendering any mesh so that will turn this domain into a fluid so to to make sure that i don't render the mesh but only the particles i also made sure that uh, in the display settings for the domain i change a turned off display instancer and render instancer so that i don't see them and uh, i think for the most part that's it uh, if you want to watch the time lapse version uh, because I did a few experimenting with different techniques to get uh, to this point, I still have to f fix a few issues because, yeah, though these explosions look cool, uh, I didn't intend them to be there, so I need to figure out why they're happening. Why they're happening? It must be a bug, uh, which makes it look even more cooler. This is a cool accident. Yeah, but uh, I think the way you can replicate this is by again by adding a force. Field. Let me show you how. I don't want to rebake this because it takes a bit of a time, bit sometimes uh, to do that. So you would to replicate those explosions because you might not be able to achieve the, the same glitch uh, that um, I have here. This was a mistake, but uh, I, I I think you would just have to add a force field like this. Uh, make sure you have you give it some fall off so that not all the particles, only the particles within that fall off are given, are acted on with this force. force then you would just increase uh, the strain quite a, quite high and then drop it significantly uh, so that this can fall back into position. That's how you can duplicate, sorry, replicate uh, that uh, those explosions. Yeah, anyway, again, if you want to watch uh, the entire time lapse of me going through different iterations of uh, trying to see how to get to that, you can go to my second channel, Blender Money, and watch that. Thank you for watching.